שבוע טוב, a good evoch. I'm Rafael Rabinovich, and Beserat Hashem, I'm going to tell story number 149 of the Shibchi Abel Shem Tov, the oldest source of Al Shem Tov stories ever published. The title of the story is Atzalas Kehilos Yisrael Meforaim. The rescue, the saving of the uh, communities of Israel, of the Jews, from the destructors, from the hands of the assailants, for the Imam, those who are attacking the Jews. I added the word from the hands of in order to make it to have more sense in the translation. Says the author of the Shibhe Abel Shem Tov, Shamati, I heard from the Rav, Rav Yaakov Yosef of Palnoi, great um, Hasid, great uh, Talmud Chacham, and the first generation um, uh, Hasid of the Baal Shem Tov. And it says, two years before the Breicha, the great um, escape. I think I told in story number 34, it's a while back, that uh, in the year 1768, there was a major attack of the Haidamak Cossacks against the Jews in many, many places in um, what today is uh, center, central Ukraine. And the Jews were forced to flee to faraway places to running for their lives. That is known as the Great Brecha. I know there is another uh, great escape during World War II or after World War II, but that's a different story. This is what they refer to. So two years before that happened, there were already attacks of these Haidamak Cossacks. There were kind of disorganized gangs of, of uh, uh, ruffian, of, of uh, how do you call them? Um, outlaw Cossacks and they were already attacking and making problems against the Jews. So two years before this great escape, the, the Brecha, Rav Tzvi, the son of the Baal Shem Tov, saw his father in a dream and he was very much afflicted. He was in, in pain. He had a big problem, Rav Tzvi. He had a big debt with a Poretzin. Poretz are the, the uh, uh, land-holding um, Polish aristocrats and they were known to be not very pleasant with the Jews once the Jews went into debt with them so he has a problem he has a big debt with many of them and he didn't have the money to pay with so he's what do I do so he asked his father do you know of my problem and the father said yes I knew then he asked who told you how did you know so the Baal Shem Tov tells him, those who walk through the paths, those who wander through the, through the, the, uh, the path of the roads, the roads told me. And Rav Tzvi asked his father, the Baal Shem Tov, who are those who wander through the, the roads? The Baal Shem Tov tells him, Avraham, Yitzchak and Yaakov, the forefathers. They go through the paths, the roads of Israel, wherever the Jews live, and they announce next to the the Kivrit Tzadikim, the tombs, the the, the, dwell, the burial of Tzadikim, of, of the righteous ones, and they told me of your problem. And I am free to talk to you now, but I must nullify the accusations that the the wrongdoers, the Haidamak, these wild Cossacks are um, raising against the Jews. This dream happened about three weeks before Pesach, Passover. So the first day of Yom Tev of Pesach, there was an accusation against Jews in the community of Polnoi, and several people were taken prisoners. Obviously, the Haidamak and some people who hate the Jews are raising false accusations to cause the Jews to be imprisoned. So they sent a shliach, they, they sent a messenger to inform the Rav, the rabbi of the community, Rav Yaakov Yosef, that he should pray for them. And that, Shivi Shil Pesach, the seventh day, day of Pesach, Rav Yaakov Yosef recited or read from the Torah the Shirat Hayam. The Shirat Hayam is the song that the Jews sang, the, the Israelites sang when they crossed the um, Red Sea and they were miraculously saved. 
and he did so with great happiness, with great joy. And while he was reciting Shira Sayam, he hears people talking. And he said, seems like you misappreciate that I say that the Shechina, the Divine Presence, is dwelling, is here with us while we're reciting Shira Sayam. And I have great pitachon, I have great um, security in, in, in Hashem, in God, that He will nullify the accusations. And so, in those final day, days of Pesach, the Jews were released from the um, bondage, wherever they were, were held, and the accusations were found uh, baseless and were completely nullified completely a note after Pesach there were these uh, Haidamak um, gangs that attacked several towns and after that they gathered to be a big group of about 500 of them and during the night they attacked the city of Krasne up to, to the break of dawn and all the inhabitants of the city went to hide inside the fortress, fighting to defend it until they ran out of gunpowder. So these uh, Haidamak gangsters found three women that were still hiding in the city. They took these uh, carriages, they filled it with um, straw, and they made the women pull these carriages to the walls of the fortress to try to light fire in the fortress, to the fortress. There was a, a military uh, camp of the Polish army nearby in the city of Tuberov, and in that moment they sent somebody to warn them, and the, uh, the Polish army came with these huge cannons. The word they use is the harmate. I don't know if it's Yiddish or Polish, but it, it means cannons. And once they come to where the Cossacks were attacking and they open fire, they disperse, they run away. None of them were left behind and from then on the place was left in peace. It doesn't say what happened with the debt that Ratzvi had, but I am to assume that he too was rescued from his personal debt. And it's interesting how Jews who were under siege, Jews who were in danger were completely safe and things turned around. And it, to me, it strikes. This is just this, the order in which I'm telling stories of the Baal Shem, of every Motzei Shabbos in the channel. And this one is so related to what's happening now. May Hashem protect us all, all the Jews all over the world, particularly those in Eretz Israel, particularly those who are held in enemy hands, particularly. Um, those who are defending the Jewish people and the, the, the Jewish country. And may Hashem bring us to victory, to peace, and to success in everything. And may we all be blessed in this new year. May we seal, inscribed and sealed for a good, sweet new year of life. I'm translating all the stories of the Shiv Hebel Shem Tov, telling them in the channel here in English and in Spanish. I'm also working on translating the book, the Shiv Hebel Shem Tov, from Hebrew to Spanish to have the very first ever publication of the Shiv Hebel Shem Tov in Spanish, which I hope to complete this coming year. Please, all contributions for that. You see the links below. I appreciate. Give me a like, subscribe, share, tell about Shantov stories. Once again, blessings to all. Shavua Tov, Agutavoch, Ksiba Vechasima Toiva, Shana Toiva Mesukah.